Okay, we're live. Welcome back, Mountain School. Hi, everybody. I'm Mrs. Fearing, Ray Fearing, Principal of Mountain School. We are very excited to have you here. And I want to talk to you first about how we're starting school and what school is going to look like. And then I'm going to introduce your teachers. And then I'll let you uh, all introduce yourself by grade level. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to share my screen. And this is a, a very brief summary of how we're coming back to school. So school starts Monday, August 31st, and we are coming back in what's called phase one distance learning. So there's no students on campus right now. Okay, teachers might be on campus, but students won't be, at least in the beginning. Uh, your student, your teachers should have all contacted you and given you information about how to connect with them. And I believe all of our teachers here are teaching through Canvas Learning Management System. It's a new system. And they have been working uh, 40 plus hours, I'm sure in their hundreds of hours since last week, they have put in so much time learning this new system to be able to bring you a one-stop shop for learning. And I'm also gonna be sharing, not today, um, information about Canvas for parents to help you navigate this new system too. But I think the teachers have you set up to start on Monday and we'll share more information as we go along. Um, so we're gonna start in distance learning. Your teachers have different times that they will be meeting with your students live. Every day there will be live synchronous learning where your teacher and your, your friends and your class will all be online together just like we are now. And it's super important that you attend that as much as possible. Okay, we know sometimes you can't make it and that's okay, but we wanna see you there every day if possible. Um, there'll also be work that you have to do outside of that live time uh, to make sure that you are doing all the assignments asked of you and your, and your teachers have your, your grades and they can grade your work and send it back to you. So we want you guys to, to be sure that you're doing work every day. This is school, regular school, and they have some amazing lessons for you, super fun stuff, but it is school and we need you to, to do that every day. So we'll start in phase one on August 31st through September 11th. And then all things, uh, if they go as we hope they will with our health and safety guidelines, starting the 14th, we will be able to have small groups on campus. This will be by teacher request. So teachers will let you know if your student needs to come back on campus during that time. And it will be students who need some intensive support uh, in addition to what they're getting online. We'll start with those students first. And that will go for a few weeks. And then um, after October 2nd, if everything goes well and we can move into phase three, you will be able to come back in cohorts. And some of you chose a Monday, Wednesday cohort. Some of you chose a Tuesday, Thursday. We've had to move a few people around to try to balance them as best we can. Your teachers might be talking to you about cohorts as we go through. We're trying to make them work for everyone. Uh, and then we'd have some students on campus Monday, Tuesday, or Monday, Wednesday, and other students on campus Tuesday, Thursday. Everybody would be doing distance learning on Fridays, even in phase three in October. So that's the plan. Uh, your teachers have probably also shared with you schedules. So you might've seen something like this. Our K2 students will be live in the mornings, starting at 8.30. Our grade third, fourth, and fifth students will be live just after that from 9.30 to 11.30. And Mr. Morgan has already shared his specific schedule. This is a general schedule, but that's that band of time you can expect to be live with your teacher and your friends. And then our middle school students, six, seven, and eight, will be live learning with their teacher and their friends, 12.30 to 2.30 in that time frame. There may be other times we need you to come online, meeting with other, other teachers or other staff members, but this will be the bulk of the time that you're gonna be doing live learning with your teacher, okay? So if you don't know that schedule, feel free to reach out to your teacher or the school and we'll help you with that information. All right, so that's the phases and uh, that's how we're gonna start school. And we have really been working hard to get ready for this. We're very excited to be able to have you all back in learning in school, even if it's virtual to start. All right, now I wanna introduce the staff because we do have some new students this year. And we, we also have some of our students who've been with us for a few years, but it's always nice to introduce ourselves again. So let's start with each teacher and we'll start with Mrs. Hooper and then we'll go to Mr. Morgan. Hi everybody, I can't wait to see you.
It's so nice to see so many of you again. I'm very excited to get the year started. Thank you for being here. Thanks everybody for uh, pulling together to do the best we can for our students. And ha how about now we'll go to Mrs. Anderson and Mrs. Clancy Clark. Hi, welcome everybody. I'm so excited to see all your shiny faces. I can't wait to Zoom with you little ones on Monday. Cool flip, Ben. Thanks. Hey everybody. I'm so excited to make music with you again this year. Got some new tricks up my sleeves and a few surprises. And um, yeah, totally excited. That's awesome. That is awesome. Thank you. How about now let's go to Mr. Cartwright and then um, we'll start with Mrs. Uh, Hooper. Hi, I'm Mr. Cartwright. I'm our school counselor and um, I don't have an instrument that I could play right here. So I'm not quite as cool as those other guys, but I'm looking forward to working with Mountain School and with all the students. Mr. Cartwright uh, does play trombone, though. Sorry, I just have to say, I have to show off because he's been working. He plays play trombone. poorly. <laughs> no, he's, he's modest. Hi, everyone. I am the other Mrs. Hooper, but most know me, returning students, as Miss C. Um, I am an IA here, so any questions about curriculum, you know, if the teachers can't, you know, if they're so busy right now, if they have any questions, just reach out to me. See, thank you. And how about Ms. Raquel? And then we'll go to our new secretary, uh, Ms. Kathy White. Hi, so I'm Raquel Silva. I'm the counseling technician over at Mountain, and I'm so excited to get to know all the new students and work with students that I've already worked with in the past and help you guys out and hopefully in person in the future as well. Oh, I'm not hearing. Kathy, are you there? I see your picture. What? Okay, well, we're not having audio, but that is Kathy White. She is our new secretary. I know you've all probably talked to her several times already. Can you? She's... We can kind of hear you. I, uh, yeah, Wi-Fi must be a little, i <laughs> looking forward to seeing all the mountain lions. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. All right, have I missed, I'm scanning everywhere. Have I missed anybody who's staff? Let me go to screen two. Who have I missed? We have a new hire. Oh, is she here? Ah, I'm looking. Mrs. Anderson, who is it? Your, that's your announcement. <laughs> there you are, Julie. Now I see you. <laughs> All right. We hired a new food service assistant and instructional assistant. I didn't recognize her. I've only met her and interviewed her with a mask on and haven't seen her beautiful face. So, Julie, welcome to Mountain School and go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, thank you. I'm really excited to be a part of the Mountain team. Um, and I have two daughters that will be attending Mountain as well. So I'm, I'm really excited and we're really looking forward to this new school year. Thank you. Thank you. We're excited to have you. All right, let's do students now. So are there any kindergartners here? If you're a kindergartner, raise your hand and wave. Let's give us a double wave. There's one. Kinders. Nice. All right. How about first graders? Do we have any first graders here today? All right. Nice. How about any second graders? Who are our second graders? All right. You would all be in Mrs. Anderson's class. So Mrs. Anderson is your teacher. Let's go up to Mr. Morgan's class now. How about, I know I see a couple. How about some third graders? If you're in third grade, raise your hand.
Hey, I saw those hands. Nice job. All right, fourth graders, raise your hand. Who's in fourth grade yeah, this fourth year? Fifth grader. <laughs> I recognize those faces. All right, fifth graders. Who are who are our fifth graders this year? Welcome, welcome. Hi. All right, you will have Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan is your awesome teacher. Now let's go to the big kids, right? The top of the school, Mrs. Hooper's class. Do we have any sixth graders here right now? Raise your hand if you're sixth graders. Sixth grade, yeah, it's a good year. All right, seventh graders. Who are seventh graders? I'm gonna have to email. No, just questions. Nice, seventh graders. Hello. And the top of the school. The people on their way to high school in their futures. Eighth graders. Who are eighth graders? Katie, we're so glad to have you guys. Nice. Good job, eighth graders. Mrs. Hooper's got plans for you. All right, let's let's move on now. I want to talk a little bit about how you can connect with us. Um, I know we've been adding people to our Remind, and I want to be sure that we make sure you know how you can connect with us and talk to us here at school. So we do have an Instagram account, and so if you happen to be on Instagram, you can follow Mountain School there. We are at Mountain Elm, short for elementary, and so you can find us on Instagram. And we post lots of cool stuff. There's some uh, eighth graders from last year who graduated. We also use Remind. Remind is a secure and private messaging system that we have set up for Mountain School. So when you join Mountain School, you can um, receive messages from us. You can choose to get text or email. It's up to you when you sign up. Uh, but you can text if you want to use text to the number 81010. And the message you test is um, at Mount Ellum. Okay, and then you can join uh, our Remind. And if you want to do it by email, um, I thought I had it. There it is, Remind. You can also email us. And uh, let's see here. If you have a smartphone, you can get push notifications. I think, I think that's it. I'll put that up there. Okay, that's all. I'll send out more information. It actually went home in the newsletter too. So you should have gotten your newsletter. Thank you, Ms. Claudia, for helping me monitor video. No problem, I'm trying. <laughs> okay. If you need help, yeah, sorry. And um, also we are on uh, the school district website. If you wanna see updates from Mountain Ele Elementary on our website, it's dnusd.org slash mountain. So that's the website. And I think we've called you all a ton of times. We're probably on your call histories, but we're 457-3211 is the phone number. So if you want to call us. Okay. So awesome. All right. We just want to open it up now to um, questions. We know some of you have questions and things that you need answered, and we're happy to answer those questions now. So if you have any questions, you can uh, unmute and ask your question, or you can... Um, Put it in the chat and then put it I'll try and get to them. Yes, you can put it in the chat and we'll, we'll get to it there. So whatever works for you if you have questions. Uh, I had a quick question. Um, I was trying to set up the Chromebook for my son and um, when I first turn it on, it's trying to, it asks me to sign in to Google. And when I try to sign in, it actually doesn't <laughs> stop me. Yeah. I'm, I'm having to do it on my phone right now because I, uh, it wouldn't let me sign in to Google on the Chromebook. It said that I wasn't um, an authorized user. So you'd have to use um, your child's district Google account. And if you don't have that, we can give that to you. If you call the school or email your teacher, we can give that to you. Okay, yeah, because I, I don't have that. So. Yep. Okay, we'll provide that, that to you. Makes sense then, because I was trying to sign in and I was <laughs> for the Zoom call and it wasn't allowing me to do that. So yeah, I didn't yes. let any of my families on yet. I'm going to wait until Sunday night and I'll email out to the students their new emails with their um, passwords to get in. But right now, I did send to all parents. 
the Zoom link to start that Monday. So double check that parents did get their yeah, Zoom I link. Uh, I, I did question. get the link for the um, for it to start on Monday. I got that one. Um, but for right now, I just had to use my cell phone because, like I said, I couldn't get into the Chromebook. So. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, we'll give you that email address. Is it Annie Lou? Yes. Go ahead. Um, so I was never contacted by Mr. Morgan. Okay. I know he's been trying to call everyone. It could be that perhaps we don't have accurate uh, or current information or something. So, um, Mr. Morgan, do you want to, I can share on our screen or you want to let her know how to reach you? Um, yes. Uh, I don't know if he has the number because our service or cell phone number service, it doesn't reach over here. So I did put on um, favorism to um, to have them call my house number, the one seven zero seven, with the area code. All right, Mr. Morgan. Keep them down. I never found that seven zero seven number. So if I can get that or your email, I will I will get in touch with you. Okay. And if you if you put it in the chat or um, uh, here to one of us, not the public chat, we can get that to him privately too. Or you okay. can call, call, the, call the school and we're done and I'll, I'll answer the phone too. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. Thank you. Thank you. So glad you're here. This is why we did this. We wanna be able to connect with everybody and make sure we're ready for Monday. Any other questions? Okay. Claire, do you have a question? Um, do we have to sign into our Chromebook before school? I think it would be be a good idea for you to do that to like practice one time um, but there won't, I won't have any assignments for you before Monday you can go online and look at them but you don't have to does that answer your question yeah thank you and Claire yeah, can I, I jump in there too I'm I'm the sixth through eighth grade teacher and I wanted to just say to my students I know a lot of you want to have the zoom link we don't actually meet until 12 30 on Monday but on Sunday afternoon at four o'clock I'm gonna make all of the links live and so you can go in and practice getting into zoom it won't actually let you in the room but it'll let you see that you have a good connection so um, Sunday afternoon check your email or Sun or Monday morning check your email and I have a few little fakey assignments in there for Monday that you can play around with mostly um, you'll be getting a video from me in how to log into Canvas. And when, once you get in there, you can kind of look around and see what it looks like. So be looking for that email from me Sunday afternoon. It should be there after, I think, four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, and I have, it looks like I have three students who just signed up and I, you didn't get any of those emails from me. So if you will email me, guys, um, I will make sure that you're in my contact list, okay? And I'll try to get to you before Sunday. To add on to Mr. Morgan and Mrs. Hooper's uh, suggestion, sorry, <laughs> I would add on uh, for my kids, I had them log into their Chromebooks and I also had them look uh, all the like bookmarks that they added or personalizations classes that maybe they're not a part of anymore and I had them start clearing that stuff out if you've had access to the Chromebooker before um, it helps out with just starting your new year I don't see any other questions anybody else have any questions while you're thinking of your questions I just want to show one more thing uh, we are still doing food deliveries, meal deliveries. So the food services department will be starting Monday delivering meals. If you want to know exactly where and when the bus will be there with food near your house, just go to the dnusd.org website and click on the family tab at the top where it says families. And then you will see the uh, meals delivery schedule. It's the first link on the left. And if you click that, it has a huge list of every stop and where they're going to be and the time. So um, I know it's too small to read there, but that way you will know every by the minute where the bus will be to get food. So if you need um, breakfast or lunch and you're out on the street, you can pick up food and it doesn't have to be you, the student, a family member can pick it up for everybody. So whoever can be out there at the time to get the meals can pick them up and bring them back to the house. It doesn't have to be every student present. They will give it to whoever, whoever shows up for the food. So 
Oh, I just want to make sure you knew where that information was. Okay, any other questions? I have a quick announcement for all of my class. I still have four packets that need to be picked up in the office. So if you have a chance to stop in Monday, I still have four kiddos that need to get their big packets for my class. Thank you. And Ray, uh, back to that page that you were sharing, uh, I believe that there's also the tech hotline. If there's any questions uh, regarding tech issues, I think that's also a great resource. True. So I'll go back there real quick. So this families tab is really a great tab and we are updating these weekly. So we meet with the communications person and we're constantly adding information here. So as she said, um, right here in the black part, uh, there is tech support. So if you need tech support because you're having trouble with your device, you can call the tech hotline and there's somebody there all day, 464-7005. You can also email parent help at dnusd.org. That's there. Uh, and that's for tech help. If you have other questions that are um, not related to tech, but could be related to anything else about school, you can just, where is it here? Oh, there it is at the very, very bottom. Um, and I know it's kind of small, but communications at dnusd.org. So communications at dnusd.org is the number you call or uh, email for any help and they'll route it to the right department. They'll route it to the school or to, you know, the curriculum instruction department or the special education department, whoever you need. So feel free to look at that families tab because there's lots of resources that we have developed that we never had before and that are super helpful for families. So I want you guys to know about that. And I'm going to put that communications email in the chat. So if you ever need to email and you just have a question, you don't know who to contact, send it to communications at dnusd.org and it will get to the right, the right people. Could we get a reminder on how to check emails? Finch does not remember how to check his student email. Sure, so if you are logged in to their device, their Chromebook, you are automatically logged into their entire Google account through the school district. Okay. And, I believe, and I haven't looked at the Chromebooks recently, but I'm doing this from memory. So teachers, if you remember, I think on the bottom left, you will see the little M or mail icon. And when you click that, it'll take him right to his email. Thank you. Yeah, and we will need to use that as communication tool, I'm sure, during the year to get communication to, to families. So parents keep their emails handy also um, in case they need help or get logged out. That would be great. And we can provide that to you if you just call the school. And can I dovetail on that a little bit? Parents... Um, the student's login account is their last name, their initial of their first name, and the year that they're going to graduate. So the sixth graders, their number is 27, and then it's the symbol at and mydnschools.org. And we'll be happy to help you with that. But if you, if, if you understood what I just said, then that might help you out a little bit. Once you have that logged in, like Mrs. Fearing says, you have access to the entire Google suite of apps that we use. So it's pretty powerful. And I had a question, Mrs. Fearing. Uh, I'm getting emails from people during this meeting saying that they didn't have the link and that they're not able to join us right now. How will um, parents be able to see this recording? Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Anderson, for the visual. Uh, when we get done here, I will, um, this takes a while to process on my computer, and then I'll upload it to YouTube, and I'll make it available on YouTube, and I will share that link in all of our places we share our links, which is um, Facebook. Uh, we normally try to share it on Instagram if we can, uh, but it'll also be on Remind. So that's why that Remind is so important, because that's my direct communication to just you. Facebook is public. Instagram is public, the website is public, and I like to be able to send things to, to my families at Mountain. So remind, I'll also push it out on there. And we will get uploaded to the website. That takes a little longer sometimes. We can't always do that immediately. Like we can remind Facebook and Instagram. So I, I, I prefer remind if you can, but we will put it on the website, um, but it might take a little bit longer. Great question, thank you. All right, any other questions? All right, well, I just want to oh. say real quick to Shannon, I did email her why it's sign on. 
and password. Thank okay? you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They're very appreciative. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have a quick question for Mr. Cartwright. I was wondering uh, if you're offering groups or um, how you're going to, what services you might be starting the year off with. Um, I think to start off, um, I'm going to do my best to stay out of the teacher's way and to help them out in any way they want me to. Um, and I'm going to follow some of Ms. Fearing's guidance, I think with the intent that hopefully um, within the first few weeks, we would be offering at least um, some in, uh, some in-class um, social emotional learning lessons. Um, so I don't know if that would be during the synchronous portion of the class where maybe I come in for five or 10 minutes and deliver a mini lesson while the teacher's live, or if that would be, and like they share their screen with me, or whether that would be something asynchronous where maybe I video myself doing something and then the kids have an opportunity to look at it later on through um, the teacher's canvas portal. I'm not sure what method it's going to be. I just know I'm here and I'm excited that I'm going to get to, to work with kiddos. Um, in addition to, the, to that, um, you know, we still have to kind of work out how, um, how I can work with um, Miss Raquel, who's going to be also working with me doing some um, as our counseling tech. So it's kind of a work in progress right now, but I'm, I, I'm interested if you have any ideas, definitely share them with Ms. Fearing and myself. If you have some ideas on things that you would like to see, and we'll see um, if there's a way we can accommodate that uh, given our schedule and what we're all doing right now. And one other thing I wanted to add, um, we are so happy that Kathy White has um, taken the position of secretary and um, she will be, her hours will be eight to 2.30. So that is hours that there will be someone in the office to take your call and be available. So if it's outside that time, please leave a voicemail. Um, I try to answer it when I can, but I can't always run out there and get the phone. And so um, she gets back to those right as soon as she can after that. Uh, if it's after those hours and you need to reach me, of course my email is the best. Uh, and you can email me at rfearing at dnusd.org. And I, I get back to those pretty quick. So thank you. Ms. Fearing, could I circle back and just mention one more thing to the parents out there about, so about counseling, about small groups. Um, the question had been, you know, are we going to do small groups? Um, it's a tricky thing for us to figure out how to ensure student confidentiality when we are not present in the same room. So when I've got four or five different sets of, of ki you know, kids at the end of like, so let's say a Zoom meeting, I can't really see outside of their screen. I don't know who's outside. I have no idea who can hear, or who's watching or listening in on another kiddo sharing something maybe pretty important or private. So that's something that I'm kind of struggling with. I think all of our counselors and therapists and everybody who does anything that's in a helping profession is struggling with figuring out how we can ensure confidentiality in, in this type of environment. So not that, you know, I know it's pretty technical, but just to keep that in mind as parents too, we're, we are working as a district to figure out what the answer to that is. Thank you, Mr. Cartwright. Any other questions? All right, well, I'm gonna wrap this up so I can get it processing and get it posted to YouTube. But we do can appreciate I, you all being here. Real quick. Absolutely. Um, how did Anna Lou get in touch with you or is she gonna call, do you know? I have, I, it on a, I have it on a post, I'm gonna text it to you. Okay, great, thank you. All right, well, thank you everyone. It was great to see you. Don't forget, class starts Monday. Class starts Monday, get plenty of sleep. Okay, get ready, brush your teeth, brush your hair, and be ready for school Monday morning. Okay, we miss you guys, we'll see you soon. Thank you.